So this is the first playthrough of using the Rococo head cam, which I think is coming out very soon. And as you can see here on screen, I'm streaming it through AccuFace, which is then streaming into iClone directly onto my character. Mm, yes. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> now, simply the weight difference here is like ridiculous. You've got no idea how light this thing is compared to the previous version, which is meant to actually hold up the um, iPhone there as well, which, um, which actually adds a whole bunch more weight. This thing by itself is heavy as this. I have like no neck fatigue. It is like, pff, mate, mate, look at the camera, mate. Now, the other thing to keep in mind is just kind of like how small it is. It's kind of um, allows me to have full visibility where, you know, if I've got my phone right here, you can just see how much that's kind of like blocking the vision. So it's, I mean, now in saying that this camera here, I've actually just got a USB cable that's kind of like plugged all the way down into the computer, which is kind of like uh, literally a webcam at the moment. However, I do believe that you can plug it into the iPhone app, the Android app as well. And then that way you can kind of like stream it to a PC or whatever, but <sighs> Michael like what he sees, yeah? You know what I mean? Have we got a problem? I'm looking forward to putting on the mocap suit as well. It's a perception neuron though, it's not a Rococo. But. <laughs> it barely moves. This is so cool. <laughs> now I am looking forward to using this a little bit more in depth. Just a few things, if you're gonna be using AccuFace, make sure you've got an RTX machine, play with the camera values. And also this thing needs to be kind of like pointing at your nose, not the fact that it's kind of like down here like this, it's actually, yeah, read the instruction manual. Surprisingly enough, it actually gives you a lot of information on a lot of things. That's true. <laughs> One other thing as well, though, is that I don't feel like I'm going to break this thing. Even though it's ridiculously light, I don't feel that if I drop it on the ground, that's it, it's gone. It actually feels very durable. <laughs> so... I think that's a really big plus as well, where obviously having a phone, you know, you drop it, there goes your screen. Last thing, make sure that, yes, there is a light on here as well to like illuminate the face, but I've still got a ring light here, ring light here. I've got my bulb up here as well. So there is actually plenty of lighting and I'm blinded from looking into those lights now.